Hey man, how much does that lift? Inquiring minds want to know. Welcome back to Manual Monday on the O&D Life. You know, on my last video that I did on the forks, I was talking a little bit about the loader capacity. And as it turns out, you know, there's slight variations depending on what specs uh, you look at. And if you have the LA240A, and I think what I had pulled up, I just did a, a Google search to find the lift capacity of the BX25D. And I think what I found um, might have been a slightly different spec sheet for maybe the LA240. Maybe there, this A came later. Because this is what is in my manual. And I thought I'd go ahead and take the opportunity to point out a couple of things. In my fork video, I talked about how how much of a decrease there was. So this line, this is the weight, 750 pounds, that the loader can lift, the full height, if the weight is at the pivot pin you know, where the loader connects to the bucket. In reality, the weight is always further up from that. And so they give you the value of how much it can lift if it's 500 millimeters forward of the pivot pins. In that case, it's 518 pounds. So, you know, when I was talking about the forks and those clamp-on forks, basically that's putting your weight beyond the bucket. And the end of the bucket, if we look at the, uh, let me sc scroll down here, manual here, it actually kind of shows you how 500 millimeters is basically the length from the pivot pin to the end of the bucket. So if those clamps are on the end of the bucket, you already know you're out further than the 18 inches. And at 18 inches, you are already losing 232 pounds. It's kind of funny. Naturally, this became a little bit of a math lesson with my daughter. So she's done the, the uh, math for me, the subtraction, and we did some dividing. So one of the things, using this data, which is a little different than the data I was quoting in my fork video, but using this data, we figured out that at 18 inches, we're losing 232 pounds of lift capacity. So we wanted to figure out, well, what is it further out? Or what if it's only four inches? So, it, like I said, it was a little bit of a homeschooling math lesson. So we were kind of going through those numbers, and I thought I'd share, share with you guys. thought this would make a good manual Monday where we nerd out on loader specs and lift capacity. So we figured out if 18 inches, and of course this is all pretty remedial. I know there are physics that have to do with the arc of the lift and it's probably not exact, but we were figuring out how much lift capacity do you lose at eight, um, per inch. So we divided that 232 pounds and divided that by 18 and we came up with 12.9 pounds. It was 12.88888. So at 12.9 pounds per inch that you go out, um, that's how much lift, that's how much you're losing the further out that you go. So with those clamp-on forks, 
if you are, you know, you, they clamp on, it seems like it's going to set it out at least another four inches or so, you know, you are losing an additional, what, what's that, about 48, 52-ish, uh, almost pounds, just going out that additional four inches. Since it's Manual Monday and we're really nerding out, let's go ahead and look at some of the other data. Lift capacity, if the weight's at the bucket pivot pin, but you're 1,500 millimeters height. So you can lift up to that point 827 pounds. You just can't lift it all the way up to the full max height. You can only lift 750 pounds. So I think I have that uh, correct. I don't think I'm um, mistaken on that. So that's what that's one of the things that I noticed when I'm loading up my dump trailer, putting the um, muck from the horses area into the dump trailer is that sometimes I can only just barely get it over the edge of the dump trailer but I and I, I can't really dump it all the way so I have to dump out a little and then I can raise it the rest of the way and it's because I can lift more up to 1500 millimeters got to figure that's 18 that's gonna be about three four and a half feet high If the weight, if the weight's out there 18 inches or 500 millimeters, then we can lift almost 600 pounds there. So, again, that's just some um, food for thought. When you're thinking about attachments to put on the front of your tractor, and that's what kind of started all this, was looking at the forks that are out there and how much they weigh and taking into consideration if you put a quick attach on that moves you out just past that um, pivot point bucket pivot point pin and um, so you know that's adding on a couple inches the uh, attachment you know is going to add some inches so you got to consider all that and then the weight actual weight of the attachments okay if we turn the page it kind of shows you a graph actually it has a graph for us and you can see that on the x-axis that's how many kilograms it's not in pounds looks like that'll be uh, next week's math lesson converting this to pounds and then uh, height so we talked about the 1500 being able to lift so much to 1500 millimeters which we figured was about four and a half inches four and a half feet um, but this is kind of the the um, line here is as you lift it up how much you can pick up from the pivot pin this is the pivot pin this is the line out there at the end of the bucket so if you have bucket hooks on and uh, something's hanging over the lip of the, the bucket, the chain, you know, that's what your lift capacity would be. But you can see, you know, we can always get it off the ground because we can lift a little bit more down low, the first 18 inches. And that's what I found with the grapple is that uh, I could get a log into the, the mouth of the grapple. Um, I could roll it back you do have more uh, lift capacity rolling it back and then I could get it up off the ground just a little bit enough to move it so I couldn't raise it much past 18 inches 500 millimeters above the ground but it was enough so that I can move the log so that's just some of uh, the uh, loader lift capacity data Thought uh, it would make a good uh, manual Monday since uh, I was kind of talked about it with the 
the fork video that I just posted and um, gave me an opportunity to uh, work with my daughter on her math. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Nerding out with me. Stay safe out there. Here's a screenshot of the specs I was using where it does show 745 lift capacity at the pin points. Thanks for watching. I truly feel blessed to be able to do this and contribute back to the YouTube community that I have learned so much from, such as how to do tractor and auto maintenance and repair, plumbing repairs in my house, electrical, which I'm certain has saved me thousands of dollars over the years. Not to mention the tons of entertainment watching tractor related videos in anticipation of my tractor, then how to use it or the attachments or what my next attachment mod I absolutely needed. I'm sure I'm the only one, right? To help support the channel, please hit the like button and comment below. This helps the video get suggested to other viewers. Plus, I really enjoy the interaction from y'all. If you want to see other videos of my tractor adventures, sub subscribe to my channel at OND Life and hit the bell symbol to be notified when new videos are posted. When you go to my channel, you will find videos discussing attachments, some safety lessons learned from a rollover I had and a time that the tractor was running away from me downhill. And then there's videos of just getting orange and dirty. If you are on Facebook, you can find me at OND Life. Like and follow the page for sneak peeks of current weekend projects and likely upcoming videos. Look in the description below for my email and link to the OND Life Amazon store where you can find some products that I use in the videos or just use or that I want and I plan to order at some point from the store. Lastly, Check out some of the videos in the description. I have some links. They're videos of products that can help keep you orange and dirty. Living the O&D life. O&D out.